Okay guys, we're gonna take a quick break from the fishing action to show you one of my absolute favorite ways to prepare walleye. That's gonna be walleye bear cruise. We're gonna do it outdoors here on the Camp Chef Somerset 4 and the griddle top. Bear cruise is basically a Spanish style of cooking stuff and it starts off generally with onions and tomatoes. So I've got the griddle surface nice and hot. I added some olive oil to it. As with anything else, we wanna season in layers. So we'll give them a touch of salt and a touch of pepper and then uh, put a lid on them and just let them get nice and soft. We've got one perfect walleye right here that I filleted. I made them boneless. I chilled the fillets down completely and they're ready to go. So we're gonna hit them with just a little bit of salt and pepper, not too much. And I'm only gonna season one side of them because they're relatively thin and it'll carry through. And of course, anytime you season a filet, you want to start with the seasoned side down when it hits the heat. I prefer a pink Himalayan sea salt, and we'll give them just a touch of sea salt. And in just a couple minutes, we'll throw them on the heat. Okay, so now these uh, onions and tomatoes have been cooking for just a couple of minutes. We're gonna come back and add a couple other ingredients here. Some olives that I chopped up, some capers, and we'll hit it with a little tiny bit of lime juice, and add just a little bit of chili powder. Put the cover back on, let that stuff get warm and soften up as well. Now we'll come back, put the fish on this side, bring it up to temperature, and add those ingredients to it. All right, we'll give this one more stir, and I think we're about ready to get the fish on. And you know, the biggest thing you do wrong with fish, or anyone can do wrong with fish, is overcook it. So I want the, re the rest of my ingredients almost completely done before I add the fish. Otherwise, you're gonna end up with fish that's way more done than the rest of your ingredients, and we don't want that. So we're gonna add a little bit more olive oil on this side. We wanna put those seasoned side down, and those are gonna cook really fast and be really delicious. You never wanna burn your garlic, so it's always the last thing that I'm gonna add into a mix right here, some garlic. Okay, let's go ahead and flip these guys. They should be very close to ready very quickly. And we're gonna keep them all real close together, and you'll see why here in just a second, is I'm gonna take all of this, and I'm gonna put it on top of all of this, just like that. Hit the whole shebang with some more lime juice, a splash of white wine of some sort in there. And then we will cover the whole thing like that, and that will let that steam come together. And in just about three minutes, we're gonna have it done, and it's gonna be good. Okay, so the fish is almost done. It's been another minute and a half. I'm just gonna give it a tiny bit more wine here in the middle. That's just to keep everything moist. It's just adding liquid, and I put the lid on top like that so that it will steam inside there and make the fish and everything kind of come together. Otherwise, it'll be a little bit dry for walleye. Walleye is a very delicate fish. If I had an oilier fish, I wouldn't worry so much about the wine. All right, guys, been about three minutes. I'm sure it's done at this point, so we've just let it sit here. Again, we've got the camp ship down low, so let's pull it off and see what we're actually dealing with. Now, if you look at that, that's looking pretty good. You can see the fish is starting to flake apart. If I use a fork right here, you'll see that fish will flake very easily apart and that tells me that it's done. So let's go ahead and scoop it all out of here. And it's, the way I would normally do this is family style, and then maybe with a bed of rice or something like that. So if you look at that, oh, it's a beautiful, nice, flaky fish like that. And all the, the capers and the olives and the tomatoes, it all came together beautifully. Um, looks wonderful, and I pretty much promise you it is. Hot. Mmm. Mmm, it's light, got a little spice to it. Um, yeah, very, very flavorful and very rich, but yet the, the walleye still shines through underneath it. It's absolutely delicious, guys. So check it out. We'll put the recipe at fishfulthinker.com. Walleye Veracruz is something a little bit different. It's so simple out here on the Camp Chef. If you want more information on the Camp Chef, check them out at campchef.com. It's a Somerset pour with the griddle. Now back to the fishing.